What is up, players? It is Warboss Tay up in his mug. Welcome to another video showcasing the work I've been doing for my studio. Here I've got the Hobbits of the Shire, and there are five of them. You might remember Frodo and Sam here in the front. I painted them up and showcased them a little while ago. Only difference is uh, they, they're joined by some other Hobbits. So let's take a look at the ones that I've added. First, the one that I am most proud of is good old Bilbo in the front there. This is Bilbo, not played by Martin Freeman, but uh, by that other terrific actor, I don't remember his name, from the Lord of the Rings movies. And uh, I'm very, very happy with the way he turned out. I wanted to try and recreate everything from the color schemes in the movies down to the uh, salt and pepper hair. This was a war boss level standard, so I, I didn't really go too much, but I think for the base coat shade and highlights that I did work on, I think he came out really, really well. I even painted in some, painted in some eyeballs. You can't really see them from here, but can, I wonder if we can get a little bit closer to him. Wow, that looks really good. So yeah, I've, I've completely turned the corner on my, uh, I guess, opinion on Games Workshop's Lord of the Rings characters. I think just the, the amount of detail, the realism, sometimes the faces look a little janky, but I think just compared to the new Fire Slayers and all the crazy Archaeon craziness, and I think just there's something about the simplicity of these sculpts that just really, really speaks to me. I decided to go with white flowers in the front. They're from the Army Painter Battlefield Metal Flowers collection and a terrific project if you're doing something that has a lot of greenery. Highly recommend it. He's got his book there and back again, A Hobbit's Tale, and he has his ring in his hand there. Yeah, so it, that was a tricky one to paint because uh, the skin tone is so warm. So what I decided to do was go in with Balthazar Gold rather than my, my normal now Retributor Armor Gold, which is a little bit more yellow. Balthazar Gold has more of a reddish undertone to it. So when you paint that on, highlight that with the uh, just a touch of Retributor Armor and then Runefang Steel, I think it looks really good. So beautiful model, so much fun to paint. I'm really happy I, I I got to to work on it. And then you've got these two little, oh, not not you, Sam. These two little tricksters here, Merry and Pippin. Can never remember which is which. But um, I went with, I actually found on online, there are pictures of the two actors in their costumes posing for like a concept, a costume just reference yeah, not concept, but um, costume references. So I used the color scheme off of that. I, I went with the kind of greenish blue coat there for this guy. And uh, the yellow vest I actually achieved by Ungor Flesh, which is a surprisingly good like uh, substitute for Eand in Dark Sun. It's just really thin, but um, it's a nice yellow, yellow brown. It's very, very cold, it's not uh, bright yellow, like Averland Sunset, or definitely not as bright as Ariel yellow, or Flash gets yellow. So if you're looking for a, a nice muted yellow, Ungor Flesh, give it a try. Uh, I did gravel for the base, some little rocks added in there, and then uh, Gale Force Nines, their green, I think it's meadow flock, is what creates some of these smaller flowers, and then for the bigger like the yellow and the white flowers, like I said, I used Army Painter's Battlefield. So they look really, really great. I think when you put them next to Sam and Frodo here, they look really, really spot on. Very, very glad I got to work on this. If you would like to commission me for a project, please feel free, warbostastudios at gmail.com, or uh, you can just contact me through here or on Facebook or on Twitter at Warbostay. Thanks for watching.